hello friends welcome to our channel in this video we discuss about how to create a purchase analysis report we have the basic data which required by the company and we have the time period and we include all the essential elements that usually required by the company you can make the signatures as well in the essential data we have the date like you can put the date of the deal you can put the name of the client as well the quantity required by the buyer the unit price of your product and the total we have used the total by using the formula so we only need to drag it down so it will automatically apply the formula when we use another value you can use the consignment number and the remarks for the future update or future period like again I put the date the name of another client the quantity the unit price and you can see here it changed the amount if I change the unit price so you can see it changed the amount we need to type the quantity otherwise it will not show any total amount now I need to put unit price so it, it will automatically multiply and give us total as well now I need to use the consignment number I case the deal and you can put these remarks for your future reference as well this is all we will discuss in our whole video how we can make this type of report in our whole video let's start it let's start our example so from the raw tan we select the cell and type the date and now client then we type the quantity then total or you can write the unit price and after that you need to find the total amount and here you need the consignment number and the remarks for your future reference now we need to adjust the columns as for the data which we will enter in the cells now we need to combine the cells so we select the cells and go here in the mail merge option now you can write here the subject or any reference like summary of purchase and again we need to use the same type of function like we need to select the some cells then again go here in the merge and in the merge you can write here the purchase analysis and purchase analysis report now we need to increase the length of the column and you can raise the size and make it bold to make it attractive after the adjusting you can adjust as per your desire and after adjusting it we need to type the some basic data of the company like you can write here the company name or you can write here the email address you can put the company name on the top as well or before this cell and we make it mail merge and again select the mail merge option and write here the company name similarly we need to add some more data so we write here or you can put in the top like contact number 
and here you can type the address as well now we can write the company name so we select the upper cells and we can adjust as per the company name now we again need to select the cells and go here in the mail merge and here you can write the company name as per your desire like I simply write here ABC corporation and after that select the cell and raise the font size and here make it bold to make it more attractive after making the company name and adjusting it now we need to simply make the boxes of the whole cells now select the whole cells and go here in the border and all borders again we need to use the same function to make it more presentable this is how we have completed the boxes now here you write total and again need to make the whole border and in here at the bottom for the approval we can use some function as well like purchase officer signature for the approval and here you can write here the purchase manager now we can select the whole data and make it in the center alignment for the presentable now we need to adjust the columns to make it more presentable and to appear in the whole sheet or in the whole screen as well so i just increase the columns as per the data and as per the requirement of the company now you can adjust you can adjust or use the shortcut key but we need to write the data we need to write the reference and accordingly it will put the size or it will take the size of the column now make it more presentable we can make the border as well we use the similar function to make the borders of all the data here we can use the thick or border now we can remove the grid lines and here page layout and untick so you can see here we have only the necessary cells or borders now we can make it more presentable by doing the color so here you can see here we can use the different color as well we can change the color of the font as well or you can change the fonts now we type here or we select the white similarly you can use the same technique to make it more presentable like go here and select the color you can use the similar color for the contact and the address as well to get the similarity and here you can again bold and make the color you can use the similar technique for the purchase analysis report as well we can increase the font size and change the font as well we have used almost all the data that require in our sheet so now we only need to make it more presentable by using these simple techniques like bold like changing the color as well like making the borders in all the data you can make the size as well you can change the adjustments as per your need now we again use here these bold and making the border and making the color as well
and now in the whole data we have missed one thing which is the period like if we need to know from which period we have used data or from which period to which period we have made the file so we need to write here and the raw and go here in the merge and after adjusting it we need to type here some data which will help us to know from which period to which period now in the whole sheet we miss the one thing which is we don't have the data which will guide us from which period to which period we have the sheet so we need to put here and the raw and in the raw we need to give the reference from which period to which period we have included the data now so we write here from the date from which we have made the data or from which we have collected the data till the period we have used the data in it again we make the bold and increase the font size and we here need to change the color as well for making the more presentable now we use the similar techniques as well we have used the simple techniques in the whole video we simply need the data and after getting the data we only make the formats to make it more presentable now i have used the date now i write here the client name the quantity and the unit price to make it more presentable I simply need to select the whole column and right click here and you can see here in the format cell option we need to change the currency and in the currency you can see here the dollar symbol now I only need to use the value and it will give the symbol I go here in the format painter and select the whole column so the same function will works in the total amount as well now we only need to make it more presentable to use the same color as well and in the total amount so I use simple formula like equals to quantity multiply by the unit price and enter so it gives the currency symbol automatically for the consignment number you can put the consignment number as per your own need or as per your own identification remarks will help us for the future reference payments as well like late payment like promise like commitment for the 10 days and in the total amount we use equals to sum bracket open select the whole column and close the bracket for the total sum value now after doing this now you can make it more bold and making the bold to make it more presentable we again need to make it bold and we can hide the show tab and now we can test our whole sheet as well by keep by putting the data into it we simply now use the same techniques here like we only simply need to use the data here and we get the whole purchase analysis report now we only need to type here the details like date the name of the client the quantity as well the unit price we can put and now we only need to drag it down the total amount so it will guess automatically now you can use here the formula to remove the zeros if you don't need it we simply use here a function or you can use here a function like if we get the data as well it did not give us any amount 
so there's simple function you can use it for your future reference and in this way we have completed our whole sheet if you face any confusion any issue in the whole sheet you can put in our comment section so we'll surely reply on your comments as well